Warthogs, as one might guess from the name, are members of the swine family and are related to pigs, boars and hogs. Try not to be distracted by the elephants in the background. We know it's hard, but today we're focusing on the warthogs in the foreground of the video. As the name also suggests, warthogs have patches on their face that look very much like warts, but are just growths made up of thick skin and cartilage. These patches act as padding for when males fight during mating season. Oxpeckers and other small birds are often seen riding on warthogs and eat insects off their bodies. Warthogs, like many other pigs, like to roll in the mud. They do this for very important reasons, to protect them from the harsh rays of the African sun. And against insect bites, rolling in the mud also provides a layer of natural sunscreen and helps cool them down. Like their relatives, warthogs are plump, hoofed animals with large nostrils at the end of a tough snout. They have little fur, except for a mane that goes down the spine to the middle of the back. The tails also end with a tuft of hair, and their faces are quite wide and flat, with prolonged snout and four impressive tusks. Their eyes sit high on their heads, so that they can spot predators with ease, even while grazing. And they also have an excellent sense of smell, and are able to sniff out food and detect predators from a nice distance away. They also have acute hearing. The large tusks on their upper and lower jaws are used to defend themselves against predators, as well as when males battle it out for breeding rights. Common warthogs have two upper and four to six lower incisors, while desert warthogs lack incisors. The upper tusks grow to 25 to 30 centimeters. Wow. From hoofs to shoulders, warthogs are around 36 centimeters tall and 89 to 150 centimeters long from shoulders to rump. And they weigh a hefty 54 to 113 kilograms. Common warthogs live in the grasslands and savanna woodlands of Africa. They prefer open areas, but can be found all the way up in Mount Kilimanjaro at an elevation of 3,000 meters. Desert warthogs are found in Eastern Africa, in parts of Kenya, Somalia, and Ethiopia. They often live in dens made by aardvarks, and warthogs are generally passive and look for already abandoned dens to make their homes. Female warthogs are sociable creatures and live in matriarch groups called sounders, with one or two adult females and their young. Sounders occupy home ranges but are not territorial. These grounds can get quite noisy as warthogs love to communicate with each other, using a range of vocals from grunts and snorts to squeals and growls. Young males usually form loose bachelor groups, though when reaching adulthood, they will go through their separate ways and lead a solitary life. Female warthogs have up to eight young at a time, though they usually only have two or three. After a gestation period of around six months, do you know what baby warthogs are called? Answer up hole in the top right hand corner. Baby warthogs weigh around 900 grams at birth. The young live with their mothers in her sounder until they wean around four months old and become mature at about 20 months. However, females stay with their mothers as adults, while the males tend to go off on their own. Warthogs may live 12 to 18 years, depending on the area. Warthogs are also classified as herbivores, but have been known to have an omnivorous diet from time to time. They use their snout and tusk to dig up bulbs and roots, and their diet also consists of berries, bark, and other plants. Hi, everyone. If you enjoyed seeing this incredible wildlife footage, and would like to know more, please follow us and hit these links in the subscribe button.